What is up, my lovelies, and welcome to another episode of Natanamore Gaming. My name is Raiden, and today we are going to be going over my Napalm Moe's build. Now, yesterday I posted a video which was called Napalm Moe's Preview, and that was the first video that I've posted onto this channel uh, in a month. And so I decided today that I would finally decide to follow up that video. And I wanted to, you know, be able to make this build the best that I could. For the past few days, uh, I've been working on it. I've been grinding. I've been putting all the time I can uh, into it. Basically just making sure that this build works as best as it can. And today, finally, after a long time, I am able to show you. Now, unfortunately, and this part of the video, uh, some people are going to want to skip, uh, just because this is going to be some background real quick. I haven't posted, I haven't been posting videos consistently because there's been a lot of things going on with my family, a lot of things going on with college. Basically, I just wanted to, I had to take time. My video editing software uh, wasn't working. Uh, properly, I wasn't able to edit videos, my mic keeps on glitching out and breaking, and so basically, I just wanted to be able to make sure that the next video that I put out was the best video that I could possibly put out. And so anyways, today is that video, and uh, I'm going to be giving to you my Napalm Mo's build. And so, uh, let's get into it. First, let's go over the gear uh, really quick. And in case you were wondering, like I said in my uh, preview video, this is an offshoot off of Jolt's Dude 139's uh, build uh, for his uh, Fiery Explosions Moe's. But mine has its own twists and uh, different versions of guns and different ways to play that, in my opinion, make the build a little bit more interesting. But anyways, so today we're going to start off uh, with going over the guns that I have equipped. And so, we're going to have the Miscreant. The Miscreant just does ridiculous splash damage and is able to fire so fast, just gets ridiculous damage, gets everything done. You can blow everything up on the map, and it's a wonderful gun to use. The Flipper literally is the strongest uh, SMG in the entire game and just can get some of the most ridiculous DPS on literally any character. The laser exploder. Now, the laser exploder, uh, to me personally, has kind of been slept on recently. Uh, the gun hasn't gotten any buffs or hasn't really gotten anything done to it, but the gun is still wonderful and still works very, very well. And basically, you can just go around and mob. And not only that, but this gun has a very, very slow fire rate. You can fire this thing forever, which is really good for another class mod that I'm going to show you. Now the back burner, the back burner is great. Uh, this is probably just the best uh, rocket launcher in the entire game. Uh, I will give you uh, recommendations for other guns as well if you want to replace them. But yeah, it's just the best one. Plus ultra, this is just a broken shield. It doubles your health. It gives you action skill cooldown. You can absorb bullets. It's just ridiculously broken. It's an it's a wonderful uh, shield, and I love to use it. Uh, the blood letter. Now the blood letter. You use this if you want to be more tanky. You can use other uh, weapons as well, uh, other class mods as well, and I'll show you the other class mods that I have. But this one you use if you want to be more tanky and you want to have a little bit more gun damage. Now over here, the cloning maddening tracker, and this one's at a max level. The reason why is because I want to be able to kill enemies with grenades, and I thought that it would just be a lot of fun to be able to kill enemies with grenades like this. Now the Atom Bomb Deathless. A lot of people don't actually really like this uh, artifact. I love the Atom Bomb. It's just, it's wonderful. It works so well, and it's just one of the best ones. And you can see all the added stuff that I have on there. And also it's a Deathless, because it gives you more shield capacity. And I'll show you one thing that's really cool uh, right now. So you take that off. See, my shield is 99,000. Equip it, and my shield literally doubles. It is ridiculous. It's really good. It's 
probably literally the best uh, combo that you want to do if you want to have maximum survivability <laughs> while you're mobbing. And not only that, but if you're throwing out the cloning maddening tracker and you have this uh, equipped, you'll literally never have a broken shield ever. So anyways, here's other gear. Uh, the prompt critical, literally the strongest explosive pistol in the game next to the miscreant. Uh, Miscreant's able to shoot faster, but this one literally just deals more damage. Light show, because multi-pellet uh, makes the explosions happen with another skill just ridiculously fast. Has good fire rate and a really big magazine size. Uh, if you don't have any DLC, I'll give you some recommendations. This, oh apologies, just tap the mic. This, if you aren't able to get the prompt critical, I would go with a Devil's Foursome. Uh, without the miscreant, unfortunately I can't think of any other uh, weapons that you'd want to replace with that. And for the light show, you would probably want to be getting the bone shredder. It has a much bigger magazine size and very high fire rate, but it has less damage. Uh, down here is the Kaosin. Now this one's not a DLC. This actually, you just have to play on Mayhem 6 and up, and you're able to get the gun. And this would also technically be a good uh, replacement for the flipper. Uh, flipper of the elements again. Chaos and just uh, explodes on impact, makes stickies. Those stickies then also explode. A dowsing rod. Now the dowsing rod's really, really good. Oh, I didn't even notice I didn't like those. But the dowsing rod's really good. Dowsing rod's completely broken. Uh, not for the main fire rate, but I'll show you real quick. Two, three. Uh, main fire rate, it's just a chain gun. Like, there's nothing special to it. But the grenade launcher is where it's at. The grenade launcher is what's going to be dealing the most damage. See? You're just going to be dealing ridiculous damage with the grenade launcher for uh, the dowsing rod. And for a replacement, I also have that equipped. The phasor. The phasor has an attachment on it that's a shotgun that deals splash damage when you shoot it. And it can get some pretty good damage going. Uh, it's not nearly as, it's not a, it's not like the dowsing rod, but it definitely can deal damage. Uh, and also does a really good job of dealing damage. Anyways, uh, the chaos, the chaos got a buff recently, uh, and now is ridiculous. And, uh, it's just crazy, it, the chaos is just crazy now. Monarchs, because the monarch is literally the most broken gun in the game. A most broken assault rifle in the game probably right now uh, and like I said phase is the replacement for that now the OPQ system uh, I'm gonna this gun is gonna be in the build uh, and it is a modded version of it uh, you guys can uh, choose to use that if you want to or not uh, but basically the Q system the OPQ system is just literally a Q system but it deals splash damage it does more damage and it's just ridiculously strong. Again, the laser exploders of all the elements. And the damned. Now the damned is very powerful now. Uh, it, like I said, it got a huge buff. You're aiming down sight and you can get some ridiculous damage going with it. And it just shoots really fast, has a really good magazine size, and you can just get some good damage going with it. The ogre. Now I like the ogre a lot because the ogre just is an assault rifle that only exclusively deals splash damage. It's a lot of fun to use. I love using it. Now this is the only shotgun that you have on this build. I haven't found too many shotguns that are amazing on Moe's. There is that one shotgun which is the shovel one where you shoot it and it can penetrate through enemies but it doesn't deal as much damage on Mayhem 10 now with level 65 which is very interesting to me. But uh, you can use that one if you want to which is a DLC weapon. The Hellwalker got a ginormous buff, went from plus 54% damage to plus 505% damage, which just makes it ridiculous. Uh, more backburners. Now the Sandhawk, and again, you just need to be playing on Mayhem 6 and above, and you can get the Sandhawk, and you can get uh, ridiculous damage with this gun. Just for some reason, this gun will always deal so much damage. Now, Lyuda's? Uh, Lyuda is just like I said again another buff this weapon is now just probably one of the most broken snipers in the game uh, if not it still deals ridiculous damage every character can use it uh, and it's just a lot of fun to use now old gods 
This one may be interesting. Oh, I gotta fix those uh, two things that say Mayhem 10 on it. Oh, apologies. But so, Old Gods. What are these? Old Gods literally are gonna just boost your elemental damage. You use these for bonus damage, uh, hurting enemies better. It's just... Old Gods are just better, uh, period. And there isn't much else that I can really think of about it. And yeah, uh, Old Gods are just really, really good. Now other gun now other things that you can use a recurring hex. Uh the hex you can use that as a replacement for the cloning maddening tracker. If you don't want to uh farm for a cloning maddening tracker, you can get the hex. The P nade, because this can debuff enemies and you can do twenty percent more damage to them, you can also extinguish status effects on yourself, which honestly is really good. And then a fastball. There's a reason why we have the fastball and there's also a reason why we have that specific anoint on it, and it is because of another skill that I'm going to be getting into very shortly. Now down here, the Mind Sweeper. Uh, when you hit a critical hit, you have a 25% chance of making a micro grenade. You have a skill over here, which makes critical hit, uh, which makes grenades have a chance to make a critical hit. So what happens is with this class mod down here, you can let's say you get that uh, micro grenade. That micro grenade then makes a critical hit then drops another micro grenade and then that uh, micro grenade does pretty much double damage you can get ridiculous damage with this class mod it's a lot of fun for mobbing and bossing you can get some things that are just so cool to see and you combine this with fastball and that anoint and i've been able to uh one shot bosses uh again it's with perfect setups and i had to get really really lucky but you're able to one-shot bosses with it, and it just becomes a lot of fun. So the Blastmaster, this is the one that I was talking about with the Laser Sploder. You can get up to 100% splash damage the longer you go without reloading. And while that does take one minute to do, you can get some really, really cool uh, damage going on. You can get cool combos going, and you can just get some ridiculous things going on. Now, uh, last two things, a victory rush, just to get around, it's not really meant to do anything else, it's just helps you get around, it's also meant for you to use against uh, Wotan or like some of the uh, takedowns. And then finally, the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge, because this is a ridiculous uh, artifact, it is so much fun to use, and you basically will only be using this for uh, bossing. You can also use it for mobbing too, it's a little bit overkill, but you can use it. And so that's all the gear. Let's go over the spec. Let's go over Green Tree first. Now Green Tree might look a little weird, but just trust me, you'll see why. Anyways, Cloud of Lead, every four shots does not consume ammo. Uh, this get 30% incendiary damage. This, while you're moving, you get increased weapon damage, uh, handling, weapon swap speed, and mode switch speed which I can actually show you an example of that right here. So see how slow that is? And then when you're moving, it's significantly faster. It is one of the coolest damage buffs that you can get. Now down here, you get three out of five in Scorching RPMs. It gives you more fire rate, just specifically so that you can get click click to activate. The lower your gun's magazine is, the more damage you're gonna get, which is also why we don't have redistribution because you're going to be getting damage, more damage out of this than if you're going to be shooting for longer. Now the Iron Bank, plus 5 out of 5 from that, they get 35% magazine size, some for the road, so that way in the very, very beginning you're going to be shooting for infinity for 5 seconds, which honestly helps a lot with your DPS, it helps out more than having redistribution in my opinion. And then Forge, uh, you get 5% ammo regeneration uh, for your magazine permanently and it is just so much fun to use you can literally sh some guns you can just shoot forever and it just makes them so much more fun to use now anyways over here into the blue tree now this one uh does not look too awfully weird to be honest this one's mostly normal but anyways whenever most deals splash damage she gets bonus 15 percent incendiary damage that gets increased by stoke the embers Anyways, means of destruction. Whenever most deals splash damage, she has a chance to get ammo and grenades, which you can throw grenades forever with this skill. It is a lot of fun. This, you get plus 30% splash damage, which is always good. This gives you auto bear. 
auto bear is a distraction for enemies and also too auto bear basically just helps you out with a lot of damage and you can it can kill enemies for you without you even having to focus this is a really good skill you have a 30 percent chance of getting a critical hit with uh grenades it's a lot of fun it makes your grenades do ridiculous damage and it's always just a good skill to have this is vampire Whenever most damage is an enemy with a thrown grenade or iron veil deers area damage, for every hit, she restores a portion of her missing health. Iron bear receives half of this bonus. So what it is, is every single time a grenade hits an enemy, it doesn't matter how much damage it does, it just has to hit an enemy, you get 20% of your missing health back. You can get ridiculous combos with this. Now this one, most can throw grenades and fight for your life. This is just really good to use. Uh, you can you can actually get yourself back to life uh, with this skill if you're just learning the cloning, cloning Maddening Tracker. This because you have to get down the skill tree, but also too it's really good if you used Iron Bear up all the way. And then Short Fuse. This got Mayhem scaling. So now on Mayhem 10, instead of 75% gun damage, I believe it ends up being something like... Uh, 350% of your gun damage is an explosion, which gets buffed by splash damage and area damage and grenade damage. It, it's it's a ridiculous skill. It, it, the skill is completely broken now. Anyways, for the fast last few skills, while your shields are active, Moe's gains damage reduction and increased gun damage, which is always really good. Less damage taken, more damage dealt. And now this, this is to give you bigger shields, and also to activate your uh, URAD anoint when you're under 50% health, you get 150% bonus radiation damage. Even with just 3 out of 3 in this skill, you're still going to be activating that. This is just getting 6 out of 3 because of the class mod we have currently, and this gives you 120% uh, more shields. And then finally, you don't need 5 out of 5 in this. 12, 24, you're still getting 36% damage while you are uh when you get this active completely and so yeah that's the build and i'm going to do one last thing and i'm just going to show you uh some guns that you can use that you can replace for uh other guns that we have in the build as well so yeah i got all the prompt criticals here you can use the beacon if you want to as well uh beacon also does some ridiculous damage Moonfire is a lot of fun to use. You can use the Unkempt Herald if you want. Unfortunately, this doesn't do a lot of damage for me, but you can use the Unkempt Herald. <laughs> Hellshock, because the Hellshock just does really good damage still. Going down, you can use the Quick Gargoyle because this deals uh, splash damage. Going all the way down, more Chaosins. You can use the Ion Laser if you really feel like it. Ion Laser can get some good damage going. Uh, going down even further. Uh, like I said, Ogre. And that's pretty much it. Not very many shotguns, like I said, really work on Moe's super well. You can use the Major Kong if you want. This one can get some ridiculous damage going. Actually, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'll put the Major Kong on. Just for all of you. Because I know the Major Kong is ridiculous. You can use the Iron Cannons if you want. Backburners. And like I said, you can use Plague Bearers, but Plague Bearers aren't really great. They're good, but they're not amazing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's all I can think of really for like other guns that you can use that I currently have. So anyways, I'm going to go show you guys some mobbing, and uh, I will be right back. So before uh, we continue, there's one thing that I have to do. <laughs> Which this is just for...
So unfortunately my computer uh, does not run very this game very well. It does not like to run this game. I have no clue why it does not like to run this game, but it has a tough time with it. So anyways, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be mobbing on Athenas because this is the most fun map to be mobbing on. You're able to enjoy this map thoroughly. Uh, it has all sorts of mobbing in it and basically all around best place to try out mobbing if you're making a new build. You can try other places as well, but this is, in my opinion, the best map to try out mobbing. So anyways, we'll just do that, kill the first few enemies that are around us, go around, and now we start shooting. And so as you can see, you will be dealing some very ridiculous damage. Oh, hold up. You will be dealing some ridiculous damage. And like I said, you can shoot forever, you're going to be doing some ridiculous things, and as your magazine's going down, your damage is increasing, and you're just eventually going to be one-shotting enemies with uh, whichever gun that you decide to use, and you can get some ridiculous things going. And just like that, and they're dead because of the cloning maddening tracker. Now for the phaser, switch over to the shotgun. And like I said, doesn't deal as much damage as uh, the dowsing rod. I'll show you the dowsing rod's damage in just a second. But still can get the job done. Here, I'll switch over to the dowsing rod real quick and show you. And just one shot from the dowsing rod, and they're dead. See? A dowsing rod just has literally the best damage for its secondary firing mode. And now let's show you the flipper. Uh, the flipper, like I said, ridiculous damage. Uh, just outright destroys everything. So now you're going to be throwing this. Now this guy resists some parts of our damage but uh since we're explode since we're just gonna blow him up with uh shock damage we really don't care and if you're using the class mod that i'm using specifically uh you will just keep throwing grenades and uh you'll never die just keep throwing grenades you'll never die because your shield will always be up and that's the only thing that can really kill you is uh is death but again we're mo's we don't care we're gonna be killing everything and so you can you kind of get the idea uh so far right now but uh let's take on some bosses so first things first uh we're gonna we're gonna just skip these guys don't worry they they don't even they don't even care just throw your grenades just throw your grenades uh, make sure your grenades are hitting them and uh, yep oh we're getting speed boost from uh, not Slayer uh, what is it we're getting speed boost right now because we just killed people with grenades we just killed them with grenades so anyways here's some ratch these guys are so easy to take out Going over here, find the Chupacabra, shoot him, kill him, and he died. Voila. Easy. That was so easy. That's the Nagata. I'm not going to use the Nagata. That is another grenade that you can use if you want to. Uh, that is a grenade that actually can deal a lot of damage if you are getting really good setups for it. It's a lot of fun. Right here, let's do this. I'm going to be going over here. See, we don't even need to buy ammo. Because, like I said, you're just going to be shooting for a long time. You don't even need ammo for this. You can just shoot, and you'll never stop shooting. It's a lot of fun. It's a great build. Oh, yeah, that's right. Anyways, like I said, Moe's is just going to make everything explode. And uh, Moe's doesn't care. 
<laughs> oh, goodness. I hate Ava so much. She's the most annoying character. Alright, anyways. So, we're going... Oh, that's right. Hold up. And like I've like I have uh, said, throughout this build, because we are Mo's, we do not care. But before we go down to kill Trump, we're just gonna get some things ready, get three out of three on that, and then Trump is going to be literally a joke. And Trump, you are dead. Ta-da! Yep, Trump died. Trump's dead. Uh. You can use this. Um, you can use this class mod for bossing, for some things of bossing. And again, I didn't use the correct. Uh, was I didn't use the cor the correct artifact. Uh, you're supposed to use the pearl and ethical knowledge, uh, if you want to do bossing. But you don't really need it because again, Mo's is Mo's. And now let's go take on another boss. Uh, easiest boss that I can think of to take on is Grave Ward. So let's go over to Grave Ward and I'll show you how quick it is to kill him. So anyways, so for this, you're going to want a specific setup, and a good setup for this uh, would honestly be, take a light show or a flipper, you can do a light show, you can do a flipper, you can do the monarch, you can use uh, either the Sandhawk or the Lyuta, whichever one doesn't matter but then you're gonna want this and there's a reason why you're gonna use this and I'll show you and I'll show you just the light show right now again don't need to buy ammo it's ridiculous but so anyways so here's just with the light show what I'm gonna show you so you come down here you get that going through this shoot 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 and that's it hey grave void you uh you feeling good bud but uh yeah uh here let's kill let's kill him one more time uh what should we oh we should use we should totally use the sandhawk hold on i'll show you guys what i just got uh a sleeping giant no thanks you can use a sleeping giant if you want it's just really difficult asmd no thank you that oh a <laughs> minesweeper it's the same one that i've got oh yeah but you want plus five out of five on toy cross promotion because of the splash damage increase all right uh one more thing one more time i'll show you just uh how you kill grave ward with the sandhawk uh, take it off of burst fire, put on semi auto. And hold on one second. 
again, get into Iron Bear so we can get close. Shoot that. Then you shoot this, and that's it. Grave Ward is dead. Grave Ward is dead. And it's so much fun. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a very fun build, and like I said, you can use you can use all the class mods uh, for everything. This character is able to do all the content in the game, uh, able to kill everything, and you don't really need much to really make this build work. Uh, you can use the Minesweeper, the Blastmaster, and the Bloodletter to deal all the damage you need. But uh, yeah, so that's the that's the build uh thank you everyone uh so much for watching this i hope all of you uh have enjoyed this and i hope i get to see all of you uh playing this build very very soon bye everyone